89.3 WGSU FM Geneseo. It's better than that, it's good. The alternative choice. Thinking well of fat, shaking hands, Dudley morning, dark clumping arms. Little wonder then, little wonder, you little wonder, little wonder, you. Big screen dolls. Chips and explosions, sleepy time, that's all with you. Little wonder then, little wonder, you little wonder, little wonder you. I'm getting it.
89.3 WGSU FM Geneseo. Hey, everybody. This is Chris Dorso, a.k.a. The Red Dog. Coming at you live from the Blake B. Basement here on the SUNY Geneseo campus. Tonight uh, is a very, very special evening as we finally, finally, finally get underway the big show that we've been promoting since day one. Uh, it's finally here. Uh, it's real talent where we will take the best and the brightest right here on the SUNY Geneseo campus. And uh, we're going to showcase some talent for you. Um, today we'd like to welcome the the vocal stylings, if you will, the uh, the, the impressions of, of Matt Britt. Um, students we're starting off with uh, this week. If you have uh, a talent, a remarkable, unusual impression, comedic, musical talent, I um, want you to give me a call uh, here at the station at the office during regular office hours at 245-5486, and we'll see if we can schedule you on in here for 8 o'clock on your Wednesday evening. We're competing with the Grammys tonight, so uh, if you're listening, hey, thanks a whole hell of a lot, and uh, whoever wants to call up with Grammy updates, by all by all means, we'll accept them. This hour, WGSU is being brought to you by a general support grant from the Meadows. Meadows is now accepting applications for the school year 1997-98. All openings are... For for four person apartments, single and double rooms still available. For more information and call and prices, call two four three four one one zero. The Meadows, a proud sponsor of WGSU. All right, so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get right into it. I'd like to welcome none other than the Frog, the Myth, the Legend, Kermit the Frog is with us this evening. Kermit, how the heck are you? Uh, I I'm quite fine. How are you, Mr. Dorso? I'm doing very well. It, it's uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, it, on the show tonight. It's definitely a pleasure to be here at Ge- lovely Geneseo. I, I like the precipitation. It makes me feel like I'm home at the swamp. Ah, that, that, that's lovely. That, that's fantastic. So what brings you to town? Is it just a show? Are you, uh, are you on a book tour? Are you on a concert tour? What, what's the deal? Well, I, I was sitting on my lily pad one day, and I, I got a call from someone here at the station who said that you were really quite interested in having a frog on your program. So I decided to make the long trek to western New York and be right here for your show, Chris. It's so rare that uh, that we get frogs actually on the air, as you probably might figure, um, being uh, that most frogs don't talk. But uh, but uh, th- this this certainly is a pleasure to 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 have you here this evening. And uh, so I'd like to welcome you to, uh, once again to to the Geneseo campus. And if you have any questions for uh, for Kermit the Frog, um, give us a call two four five fifty five eighty six. We can't put you on the air unfortunately, but. Uh, we can we can take your questions and uh, and forward them forward them here and uh, we can get some answers for you anything you've ever wanted to ask your favorite Muppet character or even if he's not your favorite Muppet character he probably should be but I I, I definitely think I really should be since I'm the most beautiful of all the Muppets being that lovely shade of green that I am uh, you are a, a certainly a very lovely shade of green it's uh, sort of like a neon almost. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I would have to say it's more of an electric green, but neon would work. Okay, fantastic. Um, now, uh, I understand you, you have brought uh, the guitar with you uh, this evening. Yes, I have. Um, I'd like to do a couple little ditties, and I heard that you uh, you might like to do a little song with me, so uh, I was thinking maybe we could do a little duet. Ah, you know, I'd be very, very honored. It's uh, it's rare that I get a chance to play on the air. And, uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be very cool. So we'll have to do that at some point. All right. Um, shall we, uh, shall we do a little, uh, live Kermit, uh, on the air kind of thing right about now? Um, I guess we could do that right about now. Okay, fantastic. Um, would you like to, uh, to introduce the song? I'll, I'll leave that up to you. Um, this is a lovely tune that, uh, someone wrote for me for a neat little movie that I did back in the 70s. It is called The Rainbow Connection, and it's one of my absolute favorites. Okay, fantastic. Let's uh, let let's without any further ado, let's uh, live right here in the studio. Kermit the Frog on 89.3 your alternative choice. Give us a call at 245-5586. Rainbow Connection 89.3. <laughs> Songs about rainbows And what's on the other side Those are visions But only illusions And rainbows have nothing to hide So we've been told and 
and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Every wish would be heard and answered. We wished on the morning star. Somebody thought of that, and someone believed it. What it's done so far. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And what do we think we might see? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell, we know that it's probably magic. Have you been half a heard voices, I've heard them calling my name. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. We'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. La da da dee da da do. La da 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 dee da do. Kermit the Frog live here on 89.3 WGSU. Fantastic. fantastic uh, well, job. well, thank you, but I must apologize. Uh, it wasn't quite up to par. I have a little frog in my throat. Oh, I wish I had a drum, like one of those things, those rim shots ready to go. But uh, I don't, unfortunately, but that's okay. Very cool. Very, very nice. Um, we, we did get a, a, a caller um, who, who has a question. Um, Tara over in Ontario Hall um, would like to know if you are still with Miss Piggy. Um, and if not, are you available? Um, well, Miss Piggy and I are going through a little trial separation right now, seeing as how she's finally decided after all these years to give Gonzo a try. But I, I, I'm, I'm optimistic that we will work this out. Otherwise, I would love to take people from the downstate New York area, seeing as how I've heard people from Brooklyn are very nice. So if you, she is perhaps from Brooklyn, I would say if this thing with the pig does not work out, sure, why not? That's fantastic. So, uh, Tara, if you're listening, uh, hey, you might even have a shot. Of course, we don't know here on the air, of course, if you're from Brooklyn. If you happen to be, hey, you might have a chance. So, uh, so, that's, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, uh, so, so how's life I in Kermitland? Any, any future plans? What's, uh, what, what's going on? Well, um, I plan to do a new movie where I'm going to be a superhero, somewhat like Superman. I I'm going to be Super Frog, and I plan on flying around the country, saving the world from bad things. Saving the world from bad things. Yes, anything non-Muppet-like. Granted, we are all monsters. However, Muppets are good, and we would like to keep the good things going on throughout the world and stop crime and poverty and all that neat stuff. That's uh, that that that's very that's very very cool. By the way, I just completely let it slide by without even mentioning. I'm very sorry to hear about you and Piggy. Um, this, this must be a, a very difficult time for you. Well, yes, but uh, I have to say the karate chops and driving motorcycles for, for, through the front window uh, sometimes get a little bit on my nerves. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, I could see that being uh, being being difficult. However, this uh, Gonzo situation has kind of made me uh, green with envy. Oh, I need to. I got to remember to have rim shots ready for the show. <laughs> green with envy. That's that that that's interesting. So, uh, so are you and Gonzo still talking? Is this, uh, is this a difficult, uh, has this strained your friendship in any way? Well, it's kind of hard to stay away from him, seeing as even while I'm here at Geneseo, I can still see his nose. So, uh, it, it's a little bit difficult, but, uh, 
I have to say that I probably can't keep this friendship strain this long, so we will probably make amends at some point. That's fantastic. What about uh, Gonzo and Camilla? How are how are they doing? Are they uh, what's the deal there? Well, uh, the the chicken has no longer uh, the, has the intrigue that it used to. I think Gonzo has decided to move on to something less feathery and more snout like. More, yeah, that 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 would that would be uh, what probably w- explains the whole pig thing. Right, exactly. Yeah, I could see that going from chicken to something more fe- feathery and snout-like. Definitely, uh, definitely makes a lot of sense. What about working with Rizzo? What's the deal on working with rats? I, uh, I couldn't do it myself. To be honest, I'm slightly upset about the whole Rizzo thing. In the first movie, he wasn't around; he was just kind of there. And then they create him and make them this huge star for these other movies, and it's very upsetting. It's like this stupid rat is trying to take away my stardom. But but I'm not bitter because I couldn't be bitter. I'm a frog. Right, exactly. So, uh, is there any fear that you, that you'll be found by uh, like a Chinese restaurant or something and turned into frog legs? Um. Well, after that first movie escapade with the French fried frog legs, getting by that, I I really think that most people have seen the movie and have decided to stay away from me and go toward other frogs. They realize you're, uh, you're you're dangerous territory. I'm untouchable, I guess. Yeah, that that that's that's very true. Um, uh, a bit about uh, the latest movie, I guess, uh, Muppet Treasure Island. Uh, yes. Um, your your thoughts on, on on the success of that movie and uh, and and how that went? Well, I I was very pleased to be able to pass on classic literature like Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island to the younger folk of today. However, I really wish they had found another person to be that stupid little kid. Because that annoying soprano voice just gets on my nerves. But but other than that, it was it was a joy working with Tim Curry, and uh, I just have to say it was a very memorable experience, and I'm glad I got to do it. Very cool. Have you seen some of Tim Curry's other stuff? Are you a big Tim Curry fan? Who, um, whose decision was it to bring him in? Um, actually, I'm not really sure. I I loved Annie, but that's kind of one of those feel good movies, so you know you can't really tell. I'm honestly no, not sure who brought him in, but I'm very glad they did. And uh, I'm hoping maybe we can do a little Rocky Horror like reunion with me as maybe like Eddie or something, you know? That would be uh, that that would that would be certainly a project. I gotta I'm, say, I'm definitely not into the fishnets because my legs are a little bit too teeny for them, and they probably wouldn't fit correctly. Maybe some frog nets or something, but uh, I I would like to take on some kind of project like that. Maybe some Saturday Night in Rochester or something. <laughs> You know, I understand they do do a uh, up at I believe it's up at uh, Marketplace Mall. They I, do, I have they, heard that. Maybe uh, I should try that out sometime. Yeah, I've I've heard some really uh, some really fantastic things about it. As so. have I. Yeah, so that that's uh, that that's pretty cool. Um, what I want to do right now uh, is, is take a, a quick look to the phones. Um, I wish we had Muppet stuff to give away. Unfortunately, we don't. Um, uh, we we do have Twister movie posters uh, to give away this evening. There was a very good movie. I, um, I like the cow, but I think it should have been a frog. Uh, you, wouldn't you, wouldn't it have been a little upsetting to have seen a frog flying through the air like that? No, because see, frogs are resilient. Yes, a cow can get thrown around and die, but not one of us frogs. We just kind of fly through the wind. Just fly through the wind. Yes. yes. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, tell the caller that we haven't given away the posters yet. I haven't announced what we're giving them away. How? Yes. Um. Please call back in a few minutes, please. Okay. Okay. People are people are chomping at the bit to get posters here. Oh boy. Yeah. They're they're excited. That this this is big. What we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna give away some posters. We're gonna do a little trivia. Well, it's not really trivia. Um, we're just gonna do a, a little identification. I'm gonna play for you. Let me just check how many I have. Dooby dooby doo. Okay, I have three. I have three sound bits. Uh, three three Muppet sound bits. And what I want you to do is I want you to identify all three of them. Identify the uh, what sort of the sayer, the quoter, the person or animal or thing. The Muppet. The Muppet. Hey, that, of course, that's that's the phrase I was looking for. I want you to identify the Muppet uh, in in all three of these clips, and uh, you will pick yourself up a copy, a copy, a poster. Um, from the movie Twister. Okay, so clip number one. Woman, woman, woman. Okay, no, no, no hints there, uh, Kermit. Uh, number two. Phenomena. And number three. <laughs> 
That pork, 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 pork gets me every it, time. That is good stuff. All right, so give me a call at 245-5586. I'm not going to play them again. Those are your three. And um, and uh, you can pick up pick yourself up a Twister poster. Name all three of those. Um for right now, uh, let's uh, let's let's do uh, another song, shall we? Uh, I I guess we shall. All right, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do uh, a little a little duet. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you introduce this one also. Um, well, I think this song needs really no introduction, so let's just get started. All right, let's uh, let's do it. So we're gonna gonna do a little playing right now. This is myself, yours truly, playing along with Kermit the Frog. This is not something you see every day, right here on 89.3. This is uh, cover of the Bare Naked Ladies. If I had a million dollars. Uh, howdy ho, this is Kermit the Frog, recording live from WGS Studio. Uh, we'd like to do a little tune for you called If I Had a Million Dollars. If I had a million dollars. If I had a million dollars. If I'd buy you a house. I would buy you a house. If I had a million dollars. If I Buy you furniture for your house. If I had a million dollars. If I had a million dollars. I'd buy you a cake car. A nice reliant automobile. If I had a million dollars. Buy your love. If I had a million dollars, I'd build a tree fort in our yard. If I had a million dollars, you could help, it wouldn't be that hard. If I had a million dollars, we could put a little tiny bridge there somewhere, and we could just go up there and open the bridge, and close it, and see if the little light goes on and off. That would be neat. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a fur coat, but not a real fur coat. That's cool. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you an exotic pet, yep, like a llama or a gonzo. If I had a million dollars, if I had I'd buy you Jim Henson's remains. Chris, that's disgusting. Oh, sorry. If I had a million dollars, buy your love. If I had a million dollars, what is if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, we would have dinner, we would eat flies, and we put all sorts of ketchup and mustards on them, all the fancy Dijon things. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a green dress. It's not that easy to be in. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you some art. A Picasso or a Garfunkel. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you a piggy. I think you always wanted a piggy. If I had a million dollars, buy your love. If I had a million dollars, if 
If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd be rich. Eighty-nine three. Sorry, that was a little little screwy at the end uh, there. Yeah, and I yeah. have a feeling my mic wasn't quite plugged in. Yeah, we weren't. We weren't. But, uh, uh, something was screwy with the connections there. But uh, hey, it's live radio. What are you going to do? That's, it's that's a lot of fun anyway. That's what we get. We're playing live. We didn't have a right answer on the trivia question, believe it or not, because I actually had them, them wrong. Oh really? Um, so we still don't have a right answer. So uh, give us a call two four five. Call in fifty five eighty six. We might just need you. A twister poster. Um. So, uh, so what else is uh, what else has been uh, going on in, in, in Muppet Land? Well, uh, I, I'm kind of in the mood to uh, go back to the lily pad and kind of uh, just just watch the the fish swim by and hopefully see some alligators and just kind of take a break and relax. You know, it's it's a lot more fun just getting to relax on a lily pad and float downstream. Very cool. Um, all right, well, we're coming up on uh, on eight thirty, so. Um not to another phone ring. Wow, there people are just just the phone's ringing off the hook here. Maybe we have maybe just maybe we have, actually know what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, I gotta do some a quick promotional announcement, and then we'll be we'll be right back with uh, where am I with Kermit the Frog right here on eighty nine three WGSU. As soon as I can get these babies set up, Kermit, we will be back uh, right after this. Hang on one second. Regular people listen to commercial radio. And we'll be right back with another long set of four in a row right after this big block of commercials. Weird people listen to talk radio. Hello, Bob. Yes, darling, go ahead. This is Janet from Springfield. I just want to say we love your show. We listen to it all the time. You're just like part of the family. But for the truly mutated, there's only one choice. WGSU 89.3 Hi, this is Tony Bennett. If you have asthma or emphysema, I'd like to dedicate the next number to you. 1-800-222-LUNG. That's Lungline, a free information service of the National Jewish Center for Immunology and Respiratory Medicine in Denver. They've got the facts you need, so call 1-800-222-LUNG. L-U-N-G. That's 1-800-222-LUNG. A public service announcement of 89.3 WGSU. Okay, 89.3. Um, we're going to uh, run these run these uh, these sounds once again because we still do not have a right answer. It seems to be the middle one that keeps messing people up, so uh, maybe just maybe we'll play that one twice. So listen tight. Listen, listen tight. Listen close. What the hell am I talking about? It's very easy, too. Yeah. It, yeah you'd think. It's it's almost too obvious, I think. So we're gonna we're gonna play them through one more time. Uh, two four five fifty five fifty five eighty six. All three of the uh, the Muppets in these clips. Woman, woman, woman. It's number one, number two. And number three. All right, that was it. There's your three. Phone's ringing again. Uh, you know, we uh, when you get the the good prizes like this, people want to win. And uh, all right, so uh, it's 8:30, which means it is time for the WGSU concert calendar. And of course, since we do have a special guest with us, of course, we'd love the special guest to take to to have a read of the uh, of the concert calendar. So, uh, Kermit, if you will. Uh, I, I would. It would be my pleasure. F- fantastic. Saturday, March first, soul coughing with firewater at the Ogden Street Concert Hall in Buffalo. March third, which is a Monday, soul coughing will be at the Goldstein Auditorium in Syracuse. On March eighth, York at Milestones in Rochester. On March ninth, Local H with Failure at the Water Street Music Hall in Rochester. March 16th, Orange 9mm with Snap Case, Handsome, and Unsane at the Water Street Music Hall in Rochester. Monday, March 17th, the Presidents of the United States of America with Red Cross at the Water Street Music Hall in Rochester. Sunday, March 23rd, Annie DeFranco at the Auditorium Center in Rochester. Friday, March 28th, the Descendants with the Suicide Machines at the Showplace Theater in Buffalo. Saturday, March 29th, Beck and the Cardigans at the University of Rochester. 
Wednesday, April 16th, Bush and Veruca Salt at the Marine Midland Ar Arena in Buffalo. Thursday, April 17th, Bush and Veruca Salt will be at the Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Tuesday, April 29th, Widespread Panic will be at the Auditorium Center in Rochester. Tickets for most shows are available at the Sound Garden in Geneseo. For more information, including the Je WGSU concert calendar, please call the 24-hour WGSU information line at 245-5487. Fantastic. Still, as I said here, we did not have a, uh, a right answer on, uh, on the trivia question, so... Um, I, I don't know what to tell you, folks. We're going to play just the middle one, because that seems to want, be the one that, that people keep messing up. It's a blatant sign of Muppetism. Please, just listen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to try this one more time. Ah, what the heck, we'll play all three again, because I, I want to keep this going until somebody gets this right, because I, I didn't even get the second one right, to be completely honest with you. So it might have tossed me. Just listen, listen to what he's saying, um, on the second one at least, and, uh, and give us an answer. Woman, woman, woman. That's number one, which is... Okay, I don't want to say obvious because people have gotten it wrong, but um, that was number one. This is number two. This is number two. Listen, listen close to what he's saying and who it is. Phenomena. Okay, and finally number three, which is probably the most obvious of the three. Bork, bork, bork. That was pretty cool. All right, there are your three. Two, four, five. 5586, pick yourself up a Twister poster, the blockbuster movie hit of last summer. Um, so, uh, all right, so we're, we're, we're running short on time here. Uh, just uh, anything else that uh, you, you'd like to add? I, I would just like to say that it has been a pleasure being here in lovely Geneseo. You kids here are absolutely wonderful, and it's been such a pleasure. I hope to be able to come back sometime soon. All right, fantastic. Um, what I'd like to do right now is, of course, introduce our mystery guest, um, who, uh, who, who has been the voice of Kermit for the last half an hour or so. Uh, I'd like to introduce Matt Britt. Matt, thanks so much for coming in and, uh, and, and doing the show for us. It's been my pleasure, Chris. Uh, yeah, this, 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 this has been wild and, uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can, <laughs> all I hear is, nope, try again, nope, try again. Uh, hopefully we'll get a right answer on this, uh, b before we all go home tonight, uh, and uh but yeah it's been cool and Matt you are uh going to be in Marat Sad yes, which I opens am, which opens March 12th and runs through to that Sunday which I'm honestly not sure the date of but please come see it it should be a very good show and uh we need your support 16th March 16th March just, 16th just, just yes. do the math the 12th to the 16th there you go so uh yeah and if, and um, tickets go on sale I believe sometime next week and it will be in the Alice Austin Theater in Brody fantastic this uh this this who is Putting on the performance, is this Vocal Miss? Or is no, this... this is the main stage production for the semester. So it's sponsored by Cathernus in the drama department. Fantastic. All right. Well, best of luck with that. And uh, we'll still be taking calls until we get a right answer. And we will uh, let you all know when we, when, when and if we do get a correct answer. Um, and until then, I'm going to... Oh, what the hell. I'll play him one more time. Um, just to let you all know so we, so we can stop getting the same wrong answers. Um... The middle one is not Dr. Teeth. That's all I'm going to say. Not at all. Not it's even close. Not <laughs> Granted, it's Henson, but it's not that close. <laughs> and other pe people are guessing Zoot, apparently, also. Zoot. It's not no, Dr. Zoot? Teeth. Zoot hardly ever speaks, so uh, it's not Zoot. That's true. I know. What, what, what was this from? I don't even honestly know it, what this is. It was an old Muppet Show episode, and it was a song created for the show, and it was just it was, uh, it was a skit for the Muppet Show. And okay. the character was created for the show, and I believe only did one song. So. Well, wait, we ha we have a winner. Do we? We have a correct answer. It's Anna. It's Anna. Yes, oh, it well, 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 fantastic. Did did she was she was able to get all three? I am so impressed. We finally got a correct answer. We're gonna play all three um, for you real quick with uh, with with the answers. The first one, once again, was of course Animal. The second one. The real sticking point, apparently, of the three. Manamana. Was none other than Manamana. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, to be honest, I, I got that one wrong because I honestly thought it was Dr. Teeth, too. And if someone, the first person had called and said Dr. Teeth, I would have been. Is he on Sesame Street? Yep. It was Sesame Street, but the song that he actually did that from was from The Muppet Show. Oh, well, there you go. And so it's on the CD collection Muppet Hits, which is available at your local record store. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, which is actually really, really cool. So, uh, so definitely check that out. It's got some really awesome stuff. Um, and the final one, of course, is Swedish Chef. <laughs> Bork, bork, bork. So, uh, so there you go. There's all three. Um, I'd like to, of course, thank Matt Britt for coming in tonight. And uh, right now we're going to get right back into the music. We'll be giving away more stuff, so uh, keep it tuned right here to 89.3. This is uh, Arch the Loaf's song. is called Harnessed in Slums. Matt, can you stick around for a little while and uh, help us out here? Uh, I think we could do that, Chris. Fantastic. All right, we're going to be... Uh, Back in a little while, this is Harness and Slums, Archer's Loaf on 89.3. Rock and roll. <laughs> 